Good day, everyone. You are welcome to this week's Business and Investment Tips program, a production of Christ Church Radio with Ayodeji Ebo, an investment professional. This week, we will be reviewing Nigeria's first quarter 2022 capital importation numbers, published a few months ago by the National Bureau of Statistics due to the continued weakness of the Naira. Capital importation is grouped into 1. Foreign direct investment, an investment made by a firm or individual in one country into business interest located in another country. 2. Foreign portfolio investment, purchase of securities and other financial assets by investors from another country. 3. Other investment, mainly trade credit, loans, and currency deposits. A certificate of capital importation, CCI, is issued within 24 to 48 hours by a Nigerian bank to the foreign investor when an inflow of foreign capital either in the form of loan or equity or goods comes into the country. The primary purpose of the CCI is to guarantee access to the official foreign exchange market for repatriations of capital and returns on investment, e.g. dividend, interest and capital on divestment. This simply means that when the CBN knows that a foreign investor officially brought in money into the country for investment purposes, the CBN will also provide dollars for their exit. The total value of capital importation into Nigeria stood at $1.5 billion as of Q1 2022, a 17.5% year-on-year decline when compared to the $1.9 billion in Q1 2021. Similarly, the figure was a 28.1% drop against the preceding quarter's value. Based on historical trend, the first quarter usually accounts for the largest amount of capital importation when compared to the other three quarters. A further breakdown shows that foreign portfolio investment FPI, sustained its lead in the first quarter, accounting for 60.9% versus 51.1% in Q1 2021 of total capital importation. Total FPI came in at $957.6 million in Q1 2022, down by a marginal 1.7% year-on-year from $974.1 million in Q1 2021, but up 49% from $642.87 million recorded in the fourth quarter of 2021. The CBN capital control measures, which is the restriction of the flow of FX, the lack of clarity in the FX environment, as well as unattractive yields in the fixed income space, all contributed to the low FPI recorded in the fourth quarter. Still on FPI, investment in money market instrument, largely treasury bills, OMO, accounted for 64% of total FPI. Moving on, the inflow from other investment dipped 43.3% year-on-year and 59.9% quarter-on-quarter to $430 million from $760 million in Q1 2021 and $1.1 billion in Q4 2021, respectively. Loans accounted for 93.5% of other investments, down 4% from its contribution in Q1 2021. Loans are mostly advancement by a foreign parent company to subsidiaries or foreign investment in Nigerian companies in the form of debt. However, foreign direct investment, which is more long-term in nature, increased by a mere 0.13% year-on-year in Q1 2022 to $155 million. Despite the huge consumer market, Nigeria continually fails to attract FDIs due to its unattractive business environment. By sector, investment in the banking sector topped with a proportion of 52.1% of the total capital imported in Q1 2022. This was followed by production and financing with 14.2% and 12.7% shares respectively. An assessment of Nigeria's capital importation by source shows that the UK Topped accounting for 64.9% or 1 billion of the total capital importation. This was trade by South Africa 7.5%, Mauritius 5.2%, and the US 5.2%. By states, Lagos still ranked the highest in the first quarter 
with a significant 71.2% share of total capital importation, followed by FCT with 28.4%. This implies that Lagos and Abuja accounted for 99.6% of total capital importation in Nigeria. By banks, Standard Chartered 34.5%, Assets Bank 28%, Stambic 16%, all accounted for 78.5% of total capital importation. The latest capital importation data confirms that the CBN's restrictions on FX flows and the practice of multiple FX windows continue to be a significant barrier to capital flows. Nigeria needs to review its trade and FX policies in order to considerably encourage FDIs, foreign direct investment, and boost economic growth. Foreign portfolio investment is also required to increase FX liquidity for the economy. However, considering tight financial liquidity in the face of rising interest rates across advanced economies, we expect FPIs to stay away from Nigeria. We can start to expect better FPI when there is more clarity around the FX environment and higher fixed income yields. Thank you for listening. Please join us same time next week for another exciting and insightful session. For questions, comments, and feedback, kindly forward to ebo.iodeji at gmail.com or send SMS to 0708246347. Stay blessed.